I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I was uh, obsessed that I, where was my passport and uh, at what time are we going, who's picking us up. Everybody was happy, I remember. And, and I, I felt sad of saying goodbye to my friends because I knew, I, like, I, like I told you, I was with a small group of friends that we like rock and to me at that point as a teenager I was uh, long hair, metal head. And, uh, and I was going to leave my, my group. I arrived uh, to New York City on 1995, July 7. You leave JFK and I don't see anything, anything until I get to, to Brooklyn. I remember the music, there was music in every corner. Um, salsa merengue, of course. So there was no, no the American, blonde Americans uh, around. It was mostly Latinos in the neighborhood. No blonde people, no blonde girls. As a, as a teenager, I was like, oh, this is a book. And, and no rock music. No, no nobody liked Metallica then. I would take the train, the L train, into Manhattan by myself and go to uh, Washington Square Park and just sit and watch people. And, uh, Hopefully somebody would recognize my t-shirt from a, an obscure metal band and talk to me. I happened twice, actually. And uh, I made a couple of friends, not, not good, good friends. They were into drugs and stuff, but, um, but I remember that, that they asked me and I, I was like, um, hello, my name is Manuel, how are you? And then I could not communicate anything else. So I was just writing, because I could write better than I, I could talk. So I would just write a note. And, and it only so much that somebody can take that, especially if you're on drugs. Only me. My mother coming to the U.S. now is, I have to tell you, it's the most amazing feeling. And I, I, from moments that I want to cry to others that I, I, I don't know, I'm very anxious of anxiety. I have not lived with her since I'm, I'm 14. I want to show her how uh, what America is like, because she's never been the same as, as, as I, I was. She has some expectations and a lot of fears, which uh, I, it has taken me a couple of years to convince her that there's nothing, no problem, there's no terrorism here, you're going to be fine, and the cold will get your coat. I started a family now in this country. and. I, I see, I, I, I have to be hopeful. I, I, I don't know what would have happened if I stayed in Ecuador. Um, but I don't think it would, it would be better than this.